The month is July. This wilderness has been foraged recently by passing by herds and is now in a season of drought. However, some locations in this barren land have pools enough of water in small valleys which still harbor sanctuary to those seeking water. This is the valley of the Ankylosaurus. They have traveled far, and they have made this their new home for the moment. These tough-shelled monstrosities are actually quite tame if left undisturbed. Their thick armor bodies help protect them from predators, but they also offer some protection from the sun and also from sandstorms which do occur often with frequency. There is also some speculation that under their armored bodies on their backs, that they could potentially store water during dry seasons. This alone could mean the difference between life and death, for if this watering hole should dry up, they would need enough stored water to travel to another water source, or they should perish. Of course, the Ankylosaurus is not the only dinosaur herd to come and inhabit this watering hole oasis. Even smaller creatures need their source of water, and a few smaller predators, which are harmless to the Ankylosaurus, have come to seek refreshment near the water in this valley. The Kumps Arbnathus is a small bipedal theropod. It is also a carnivore, but its small size limits its ability to hunt for prey. They will seek smaller dinosaurs, but often scavenge for their food instead, sometimes from larger predators which leave behind the scraps. The season of dryness can take its toll. Even for these Ankylosaurus, their energy has been spent grazing and drinking in this valley. They will have to rest for a while, but their strength will be recovered again. They will spend much of their lives grazing, and rarely seek the adventure far from this new home. The food is plentiful here. These trees offer fruit and are loaded with nutrients, but they also contain water, an added bonus for these Ankylosaurus. But now, their security they have found in the valley may not always be left to a security without its troubles. Already something is in the air. Possibly a scent, and they may soon find that they will not be alone in this valley, nor unchallenged. This dinosaur is only the first. A Stegosaurus male leader walks in front of the others, investigating the area, but also following a scent of its own which has drawn it into this valley. They too will seek the water in the lakes and the fruits in the trees, and they are ready to defend themselves if needs be in order to secure their needed nourishment. And, unfortunately for the Ankylosaurus, the Stegosaurus is not desirous to share its new territory.
Already the Ankylosaurus can feel the intrusion on their territory, and they are growing restless. The new territory for the Stegosaurus is forming. The Ankylosaurus is disturbed from this new herd, but for now has chosen to move away from the hole, but stay in the valley. For the most part, they seek to avoid confrontation. It will only be later when they move to drink from the lake again, that confrontation of these two species, together, may come to a head and be unavoidable. Some little peace has been spared. But, a worse trouble exists on the horizon which may soon challenge even these two species together. There is plenty of food here in forms of cactus and fruit in the trees, but these are only food for herbivores in this valley. A herbivore will not be the only one looking to find food. Even now, not far off, is another valley where another dinosaur of sorts is nearing this territory and in search of something to satisfy it. If the Ankylosaurus and the Stegosaurus stay too long, and are not careful, they may soon find themselves contesting for this new valley, but with their lives. The scent has filtered out of the valley. A predator lurks nearby. It will not be long now. These two fearsome dinosaurs are the dreaded Tyrannosaurus rex. They are both male and female, and have been hunting together for a long time. But there is a problem. They have not seen prey for a long time and have grown into a weakened condition. However, their desire to fill their bellies on a prey has not stopped them. They continue to walk together and will not give up now for in their nostrils is the scent from the trail of the Stegosaurus. In fact, it is the Stegosaurus which has brought them to the valley of the Ankylosaurus in the first place, and it is Stegosaurus's own folly which may prove for the demise of the both herds in the valley.
Meanwhile, as the Tyrannosaurus Rex continues to get closer to the valley, there has already been a crisis that has arisen. It seems that a confrontation has already happened, and a weaker dinosaur has already come to meet its demise. A battle has erupted and finished between these herds, and two Ankylosaurus have lost out. The third has fled and may not return, or may wander off and perish elsewhere. But the Stegosaurus have won and will hold on to the valley for now. But danger has already come knocking at their door. Though a larger dinosaur, because if its weakened condition, the Tyrannosaurus has lost its battle with the Stegosaurus, and died. The female is now alone, and will bide its time for a moment, before trying once more to try and make a kill. The female Tyrannosaurus has buckled and fallen from its own exhaustion and injuries. It has lost, and the Stegosaurus have won. But the death of both of these Tyrannosaurus is not the end of life, for in their death is new life for the Compsognathus. 
They have followed the conflict and will now reap the rewards as they eat the remains of those which have fallen. And life, as it seems, continues on, even during harsh droughts and loss of food or prey. But this valley will be in possession now of the Stegosaurus herd. They will remain here for a time, maybe even as long as a month, but will be at the mercy of the level of water, for once this area has dried up, they will have to move on and search for more water elsewhere, and even find more confrontation and be tested to the survival of the fittest, beyond the valley of the Ankylosaurus.